Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can use this web application for record creation with file uploads. This uses Google Spreadsheet for database and Google Drive for file storage. You can easily customize this tool for your requirements. You can also view your created record in table view. Let me show you the demo in detail. I am currently using this for recording my expenses and uploading the receipts. The entire page consists of header, footer, and form, and all can be customized easily. This form captures details like expense description, category, date, payment method, amount, notes, and receipts. Notice that you can have multiple form sections, like here I have used two sections. Each section can have its own title. Also, notice that you can have several types of inputs like text, text area, number, radio, select, date, and file. You can easily customize prefixes and suffixes like currency symbol or units of measurements like kg, meters, etc. Let me fill this form. Notice, when I select the file, the Submit button gets disabled and displays an uploading message. This tells that file gets uploaded prior to form submission. After form submission, that uploaded file will be linked to the created record. I am hitting the Submit button. Now to view your created record, you can click this button named Table View. You can also view the uploaded files like this. You can expand the rows to reveal action buttons like Edit, Delete, and View. You can view your record in a nicely crafted detail view. You can open the uploaded files like this. You can delete like this. The table will refresh after deletion. If you click Edit, it will open the filled form in a separate tab. There you can edit and submit the changes. Let me show you that also. Here I am editing a few fields. Hit Submit. Now let me open the table view. Here you can see that this row has been updated with the new changes. Let's check the spreadsheet now. This is where all the data gets recorded. You are requested not to change the content of this sheet. I know this data is not useful to you. That's why I've written a custom function to parse this data. In the next tab, you can see I have used the custom function named parse and passed the JSON data and the field name as parameters. You can simply drag the formula fill handle like this to populate other rows and columns. Now let me show you where the file gets uploaded. I will open my Google Drive folder.
Here you can see the uploaded files. I have passed the ID of this folder in the scripts. Now, how do you make this yours and customize it to suit your requirements? Make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link provided in the description below. You will see a tab named Response Sheet. Do not change the content of this sheet. Now, open the script editor by clicking Extensions and then App Script. Open code.g's file. On top, you should replace the folder ID with yours. How do you find folder ID? Open any drive folder where you want to store your files. Once opened, grab this portion of the URL. Now we need to deploy this to get the working URL for the web application. Click this Deploy button. Then choose a new deployment. Select Web App as the type of the deployment. In description, you can write anything like version 1. In Execute as dropdown, select Me. In Who has access to dropdown, you can select any of the three depending on your use cases. I will choose only myself so that only I can access the web app. Then click Deploy. It will take some time and then it will ask you to authorize the attached script. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. Once the deployment is complete, you will get the URL. Copy this URL and paste it somewhere for your reference. You can also get this URL from the Manage Deployment section here. It is also possible to get testing URL, which will always point to the latest code. This is useful when your project is under development. This is how you can get it. Go to Test Deployment. This will give you Dev URL, and it will end with Dev Word. After your project is finished, you can make your previous deployed URL to point to the latest code. For that, go to Manage Deployment. And then choose the last deployed version. Then click on Edit and choose a new version. You can give this version another name and then hit Deploy. This way, your previous deployed URL will start pointing towards your latest committed code. Now how to customize this. Let me open the code and the application in split mode. If you can see, you have got header, footer, and form section. To customize header, go to header.html. And there, you can insert title, logo, short description, or whatever. If you have got experience with writing HTML and CSS, then you can edit this section entirely. Similarly, to customize the footer, go to footer.html, and there you can edit this footer title or you can put anything of your choice. It won't interfere with the form. Now to customize the form, you need to open file name schema mixin. There you will see the actual schema based on which the form is being rendered here. You can have several sections here. Each section will contain its title and fields properties. You can customize the behavior of each field. 
Here, you can set the type of the field, its label, etc. Like you can set a form field to select, radio, date, or number type. For uploading files, you need to set its type to file. You can also control the width captured by each form field. Like here, the column is one-third specifies that this field will take one-third of the entire form width. You can make it half or quarter or any other size. You can read more about this from the reference documentation. I will post the link in the description. You can also provide prefixes and suffixes like currency symbol, units of measurements, etc. It would be a lot better if I can show you the demo here itself. Here I am using testing URL. I am changing the schema to render inventory creation form. After making changes, hit this Save button. I will also delete my previous entries in the response sheet. Now I will refresh the form. And here you see, it has been updated with a new form. Let's quickly try this by filling this form. And hit Submit. Now let's open the table view. And here you can see the new data. You have seen it is very easy to customize the form. If you have got some experience in front end development, then you can customize it fully. It's basically a Vue.js project and it uses Bulma CSS framework. I will post the link to all the references used in the project. To customize the appearance and theme of the form, you can edit form.html. But do this only if you are experienced in front-end development. You will find all the JavaScript methods in these files. You can refer to all the backend methods here in this file. Like here, you can see methods responsible for fetching data from spreadsheet, deleting and updating records, and this one is responsible for creating files in your drive. That's it. Feel free to copy this spreadsheet and experiment with it. You can refer to all the links provided in the description to learn more. I will also add a link to the premium version of this, which can handle inviting users, handle authentication, and much more. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.